What's up party people? Hey, good morning. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about why it f***ing sucks to be a resident, but why you need to just do it the first couple years because eventually you're going to be okay. I was talking actually with one of my friends last night. We were talking about residency, how bad it was, and in the beginning, this is real important, in the beginning, the first year, maybe even second year for certain surgical specialties, you feel like you're not learning anything. You feel like you're not really like becoming a surgeon or not learning the technique of surgery. For me, since I was like 17, that's all I wanted to do is just be a surgeon. And I didn't really want to be a doctor. I didn't really care about being a doctor, but I, you have to be, in order to be a surgeon, you gotta be a doctor. So that's where I went. But what I really wanted to do is like learn operations and because I was a, a bit of a nerd and I played a lot of video games when I was younger like I would play 15 hours a day sometimes like in college which is probably why I didn't do very good in college <laughs> nonetheless I thought that that gave me an advantage when it came to technical you know manipulation which it did in hand-eye coordination I thought I would be really good at this because I play video games all the time and it, they're sometimes very frustrating and you really have to stick with it before you end up gaining the skill in the game to be able to like beat the game whatever I thought that translated pretty well to surgery which it actually does it's very sometimes surgery is very frustrating and you have to have good hand-eye coordination and manual dexterity and I'll tell you a quick story when I was a fourth year resident we started doing laparoscopic surgery like advanced laparoscopic surgery so they told me I was the best resident they've seen with natural skill in seven to ten years and I attribute that just to me playing a of video games which is kind of funny and I say natural in quotes because it's not natural it's practice it's just in surgery is the same it's just practice the more you do it the faster you get the better you are so what I wanted to say was is the first couple years of surgery residency is like do you remember Karate Kid Mr. Miyagi Daniel son it's like that so Mr. Miyagi tells Daniel son paint the fence Daniel son paints the fence come back the next day Right, sand the floor, all that stuff. Daniel sounds like, after a month of that, Daniel's like, this is bullshit. I'm not learning karate, what the f But then Mr. Miyagi starts fighting with him and Daniel realizes that he learned all these things. He didn't even, even know he was doing it. So that's what the first couple years of, you know, surgery residency is like, is that you're doing all this paperwork bullshit, seeing patients all the time, you're not really seeing you're not really learning, you're not improving your surgery, you're not like getting those surgeries down, those operations down. But what you're doing is you're seeing thousands of patients. And that's what you need to do in order to be able to clinically judge those patients later when you're on your own. This is something that when you take the difference between like a PA who learns all the book stuff and they, they come out they're like, hey, I learned everything, I'm just like a doctor. And PAs are great, but they need then the clinical experience to correlate that book knowledge. And so that's the same thing with surgery. Residency, that's, you do it first, you get all the clinical knowledge, you don't even know you're doing it, but you're seeing patients every day and you're seeing which ones are sick and not sick and are on the wrong trajectory or the right trajectory and you know are gonna go down the toilet in the next you know two hours or they're gonna be okay and you need that kind of like intuitive judgment to be able to function as a physician and, and to be able to function as a surgeon later uh, to take care of lots of patients and do operations the operation is actually one of my mentors used to say that you could teach a monkey to do the operations like it's not that hard some of them are technically it's difficult to begin with and you end up you know doing it a lot and so it's pretty easy it's not easy but you get good at it and you know some people get good faster than others or whatever but eventually if you do it enough you'll you'll be good at it most of the operations are really not unlearnable right let's put it that way anyway I just want to shoot that quick video I'll tell you about my analogy between Mr. Miyagi, Daniel Sun, and surgery, first couple of years of surgery residency. I thought that was, I thought it was brilliant because I am brilliant. No, I'm just kidding. I thought it was a good analogy and helped 
maybe it will help you understand like what you're getting into when you get into it. Not to be frustrated because I was really frustrated for the first couple of years. I was like faxing things, you know, writing orders, doing potassium replacements, like all this shit I didn't want to do. In the end, what I was doing is learning you know, getting clinical knowledge, so. All right, hey, thanks you guys. Thanks for watching these videos. Comment, share, like the videos, that'd be awesome, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, I'll see you in the next one.